Ahoy there, my hearties. A very, very good evening to you. It's Scotty McClue. We are, of course, live with the Thursday evening pop-up. Dinky-doo to every single one of you. Thank you for joining us tonight. We have so much to get through. And uh, <clears throat> we've only got one hour of superb scintillating information, education, and entertainment. So you need to get yourselves moving as sharply as possible. Fantastic stuff. Stephen Mooney is there. Robert John Micklem. Welcome, 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 I see. It's the Scotty McClue pop-up. We are, of course, live for one hour of superb scintillating information, education, and entertainment, not just for one nation, but for many, many nations right across the world. So we are global. So there you are. Charles Scotty McClue says Giuseppe Bacchetti. Ciao, Giuseppe Bacchetti. Harry Nowlis, hello, Scotty. I'm ready for another evening of educational entertainment. No problem at all. Jerry McMahon's watching. Oh, my goodness, it's fast tonight. Gordon Sterling's watching. Dinky do, Gordon. Lovely to have you with us, of course. I was thinking about you today because I was thinking what you said about the Gardner Diesel, how she managed on very little fuel. And I think you said very little water. I was quite interested in that. Was she water cooled so there you are we'll probably hear a bit more about that as the evening goes on anybody who knows about um, heavy oil engines i don't like to call them diesels i like to call them uh, heavy oil engines because that's what the gardener was phil symes watching dinky do phil lovely to have you with us and welcome to the scotty mcclue thursday evening pop-up the late night pop up. Now we must tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Thinking of getting a career in acting, Scotty, perhaps me and yourself could appear in Hollyoaks. Yes, why not? A shout out for Marcella Foy. She's sad she's lost her pink dress, says Thomas. Ah, yes, no doubt it'll come back. Uh, ben Lucas Dinky Doo, sometimes these things get handed in. Let's go, says Ben. Absolutely. Let's go, La. Lovely to have you with us and Dinky Doo. Now then, <coughs> so much to get through. Just back from the band practice. I'm on my knees, says Gordon Sterling. Now, is it brass band or was it the pipe band? You shouldn't be in your knees. You need to march. Evening, my old China, says Greg Drysdale. Dinky do, Greg. Lovely to have you with us. Mark Gow is watching. Very, very busy. Now, about 8,500 of you joined me last night. So that was excellent. You'll see it there on Facebook. Welcome, 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 I say. And what we might do, let me just, I'm just in the process of popping something onto YouTube. Now, if you're not familiar with Scotty McClure's YouTube channel, there's 500 videos for your edification and delight. So there you are. And I'm just going to pop this up and then that'll clear the decks for sharing <coughs> as the evening goes on. You could be Courtney's granddad on Hollyoaks, says Harry. I could. Yes, absolutely. I think I'd make a fantastic granddad on Hollyoaks, I have to say. But I do feel I'd make a better Doctor Who. John Wilson, Dinky Doo, Big Steve from Irvine. Lovely to have you with us. You're watching Scotty McClue, the finest piece of television you'll ever see. And you can share and share and share as widely as you like, guys. Very important. Thanks, Scotty. That's a cracking bonnet. It would go with Marcella's pink dress. Indeed. Although I haven't seen Marcella's pink dress, but I'm quite sure the bonnet would go. Craig Gallagher, Dinky Doo. Lovely to have you with us. And welcome to the Scotty McClue Thursday evening pop-up. Now, uh, just doing a tiny bit more sharing, guys, and then I shall be with you full-time. You will have my undivided attention, I say, and I will hopefully have yours. Scott Beatty, oi, oi, Scotty, dinky-doo, dinky-doo, excellent stuff. The Scotty McClue pop-up, just for you, just popping this up on the LinkedIn. Now, if you're a business person, then get yourselves on to LinkedIn and join Scotty McClure. There's about 8,000 of us um, in the Scotty McClure group there. Would you like to see um, Thomas? I don't know, Thomas, all these people you're talking about. I'd rather not talk about individuals. I'd rather talk about you. You people are very important. That's a shout out. Granddad Scotty McClure. Scotty, this is just like the old days. Says smart on it. <coughs> <coughs> you must forgive me, guys. We bit of a chest tonight. Had it for a while. 
Derek McMahon's watching. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us, Derek. It is like the old days, Sma. That's what it's about. Very, very important. Not about the old days, but about the next days. So there you are. That's been successful. Sorry, I'm just having a wee kick round the corner here to see what's going on. Uh, Gary Cross is watching. What do you want to know about me, says Thomas Pedden. We want to know about what everyone thinks on here. This is the People's Program. I was just thinking about subjects tonight. I thought, you know, we're getting yelled at from the television and the radio. Hello, tonight we're discussing Brexit. Hello, tonight we're discussing Donald Trump. Hello, tonight we're discussing this, that, and the next thing. And I think, what about the people? So there you are. This man's a proper legend, says Ian Burke. Scotty McClure to take over from Jimmy Cranky. Thank you. Scotty, what do you think about Border Television, Granada Television, Time Tees, etc.? All been taken over by ITV. Is it time went back to individuals? I don't think, Harry, you'll ever see a return now. I mean, ITV is a fantastic big company. But, um, you know, we miss the whole structure of ITV. I absolutely loved working for ITV and I loved the structure. The old red phone used to go and we got everything running to the second. Good evening again from Nottingham, says Patrick Para Collins. Good evening, Patrick. Lovely to have you with us from Nottingham and Dinky Do, I say. I'm just going to share this, guys. You'll see it come up on your Facebook pages. It's a YouTube of tonight's pop-up earlier. Alexander Shand Hudson is watching Dinky Do just about there. That's the Facebook one. One more on Twitter. Now, can every single one of you, uh, you're a leg end. I miss Heartbeat and London's burning in a Sunday night. All that. Karen Mercury, Dinky Do. I miss Heartbeat. Yes, absolutely. We'll be showing you to all of America and the USA. So chuffed. Uh, about the Rangers, he's talking about the Rangers here. Hamden or Murrayfield, Scotty, now, that's a subject we could discuss. The pros and the cons for Hamden or Murrayfield. But we do have to remember that we're not a Scottish phone-in, right? We're an international global program. Excellent stuff. But, Cammy West, I think it's worthy of discussion because everybody all over the world will know Hamden and Murrayfield. They'll have seen it on the telly. David Hennessy, Dinky Do, lovely to have you with us. Welcome, welcome, welcome from Scotty McClure. That's my good self. The first lord of the internet. A lady came on tonight. She said, who are you? I haven't a clue. And I said, Scotty McClure. So there we are. So she'll have to just do her digging around. I say, it's quite mad. It's silly. Scotty, uh, you could be a customer care assistant at McDonald's working in the dining area. Well, I think I'd be very, very good on there, making sure you had your fries. A shout out to Taylor Hillis. So smart on it. Absolutely. Hamden's a dump, Scotty. Rip it down and build a better one. I seem to think when I was a wee boy, there was an older Hamden, and it did become a bit of a dump. Am I correct? A lot of sort of corrugated iron and stuff like that. Uh, Rab Hill's watching Dinky Doo Rab. Lovely to have you with us. You're watching Scotty McClure. It's the Thursday night late night pop-up. This is the big one. Right. That's me shared that YouTube guys. So what I'm now going to do, you'll see that pop up on your Facebook page. I'm going to get back onto Facebook because I think we should take some calls tonight. And first lot of the internet is a made up thing, says Sean Michael Martin, the first lord of the internet. If you go to Downing Street, you'll see on the door of 10 Downing Street, first lord of the treasury. Now, the Treasury, the Chancellor of the Exchequer, is 11 Downing Street. No secret, right? But on the letterbox, the title Prime Minister, that's a courtesy title. The real title is First Lord of the Treasury. So there you are. So Scotty McClure is the First Lord of the Internet. Have you got it? What do you do during the day? The storm has been a whole variety of things. I talk to a lot of very, very, very important people during the day. And then at night, I talk to a lot of very, very important people. You. 
All right. Uh, we've lost a lot of murder mystery actors and get great viewing. Scotty, the new detective. Aha. Yes, I could arrive here and take some notes. Yes, what happened? And were you in the library at the time? So there you are. Scott FM back. Yahee! What's your thoughts on politics with asking for cash? Um, to, so we can't discuss that, Scott BD. We cannot discuss that. Okay? So there you are. It's the law. But thank you for asking. I'll delete your comment for you that it's gone. <coughs> so do I. I'm a debt collector by day. Whoa, Thomas Peden. Right, there we go. Moving on. Um, do get in touch, guys. Very, very important. Now, uh, I'm just going to get the Facebook up here. We've got the YouTube up here. Scotty McClue is throughout the internet. So there you are. A massive, massive piece of uh, quality. Right. I'm just going to get that. Had to think there was multitasking. Four pop-ups a night successive. Can we keep the Sunday night special and refrain from any pop-ups unless it's an emergency? This is an emergency, Gordon Sterling. We want to test out the calls, okay? Uh, you spoke to me today. Thanks for that. Made my day. Uh, thumbs down was harsh, cuz, says Thomas Bean. Ooh, thumbs down. Yes, debt collecting. I don't think that'll be terribly popular, is it? Is it is it a popularity contest you're in? Eddie Doby Senior. So they are Tom Hutchinson. And uh, excellent stuff. Lovely to have you all with us. Good evening, sir, says Neil O'Gormley. Uh, should we look up to the debt collector? So, Paul Henderson, we can't discuss that. Guys, please refrain from mentioning the names of people apart from yourselves. All right. There's a lot of things we cannot discuss on the program. So there you are. Uh, Harry Nollis, Scotty, please accept my friend request. Now, Harry, I've got maybe a thousand outstanding friend requests at the moment, maybe even more than that, maybe 2,000. So the problem is you can only have so many friends. So can I suggest you follow me on Facebook? Can everyone follow me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter? If you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClure, the First Lord of the Internet, and of course, the world's top broadcaster. We are live on Facebook Live, the world's top broadcast platform. Welcome, 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 I say. You'll not be used to seeing me popping up, but this is the, the finest piece of television you'll ever see. Trust me, because I've seen the rest. <laughs> Excellent. So there you are. You're a leg end. What is your Twitter? At Scotty McClue. So small a and then Scotty McClue. So go on to Twitter and follow me on Twitter. Every single one of you. Give us a thumbs up, guys. Come on. Right, let's get sharing here. Very, very important. Now, I'm just going to share. There we are. Excellent. Just going to share that, and then it lets everyone know that we are live right now. If you can all do the same, that would be fabulous. I think I've got another device here as well. We can probably do a bit of sharing on as well, folks. So there you are. Get the sharing going, I say. Um, I'm afraid I have to disagree with you. 8,729 of you joined me last night, guys. Thank you very much for that. Excellent stuff. There we are. Good evening, sir, says Neil O'Gormley. Tom Hutchins is watching. Scotty, please accept my request. We will do, Harry. Not a problem. 2,000 friends, Scotty. So there you go. Have you got 2,000 friends? Excellent. Um, so there we are. You have an agenda against me, says Thomas Beden. No, Thomas Beden. No agenda at all. You see, do, please do not get paranoid about being a debt collector. Not a problem. Mickey M's Gath Cocker. Yo, yo, Scotty. Get the calls going from the beautiful people, says Mark Gippert. Never mind Downing Street. My postman came at half five the night. What's that about? Well done, Rangers FC, says Kenny Og. Yes, try and keep off the football, guys. Scotty, you're getting the accordion out tonight. I want to hear you play. Marching through Georgia. James Sheridan. Paul Henderson says, sorry, not at all, Paul. No apologies necessary. I'm just explaining. We don't mention second names. 
and we don't mention ongoing legal things because we can't discuss it. So there we are. You'd be great on River City. Woohoo! Woohoo! Says Elaine <coughs> Costello. There we are. Right. Just going to do a wee bit of shaving, guys, if that's all right with you. And, um, oh, oh. There we are. Share that. And I'm going to share again. And so are you. So there we are. Share to a group. Well, why not? I say. There we are. Excellent. Do I do a lot of looking down during the program? Is this at eye level? Are you getting a good eyeful here? Gavin McVicker, think you do. What's your Twitter page, Scotty? At Scotty McClue. S-C-O-T-T-I-E. M-C-C-L-U-E at Scotty McClue capital S and then capital M small c capital C so there we are you can't go wrong right and uh, where else am I sharing oh I know what I'm doing here we're going to share this lot with uh, several groups guys so follow me on Twitter Callum McSwan and tell everybody else to do so as well you can never get too much Scotty McClure I always say so there we are we'll just let all the people know that we're on. Lovely, 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 lovely. Invite, invite. Right, share to a group. Here we go. Are we ready? Hey, what do we put live now? That's fine. Live now. Join us. Join us. There we go. Live now. Join us. And that's going out. There, wonderful stuff. That's the stuff. There we are. Oh, ching ching, everybody. Marvelous, marvelous, marvelous. Right? Out we go. There we are. Excellent, excellent. And that just lets everybody know, folks, what's going on. Okay? So that's that. Uh, so get on to Twitter, Callum McSwan. Uh, wonderful stuff. Hi from Posh Buckinghamshire, says David Adam. Are you near Aylesbury, David? That's a very smart part of Buckinghamshire, isn't it? Aylesbury. There we are. The Duke of Buckingham. Buckingham Palace. Do you know Buckingham Palace was bought for £5,000? I'd have given them six without seeing it. Uh, Scotty, I don't seem to have a share button that's vanished, says Karen Mercury. Perhaps maybe you were being a wee bit generous with it, Karen, and um, Facebook thought, oh, come on, dude. I don't know. Mickey M's Gath Cocker says, hi, Scotty. Dig he do. Uh, what's your thought on vape pens, says Thomas Beden now? I used to think that the vape cigarette... I was very supportive of it. it, was so much better than the tobacco. But um, I've now got concerns. Any chemicals that are foreign to your body are never ideal. That's all I'll say on that one. 2,000 friends, Scotty, you're a show off. There we are. Well, I've actually got 5,500 friends on another page. So I'll maybe let you see the other page. So look up the other Scotty McClure pages and uh, see that. I think we've got about 10,000 friends in total. Um, so excellent stuff. No man should vape, says Derek Miller. This guy's so funny, says Mickey Ems. Gath Cocker, I thank you. Harry Nollis, Scotty, I'm trying to Skype you. No, no, no Skyping. What we're doing tonight... Right? And you can do that. Try it again, Harry. No Skyping tonight. What we're going to do is a uh, messenger. All right? So see if you can get me on messenger. I've been doing a bit of research today, and that seems to be the favorite. So if you're giving us a call, give us a call on messenger, and we'll see if we can get you there. You'd be great on River City, says Thomas Pidden. I think so, but I thought I'd be a baddie. Maybe somebody that frightened Lenny a bit, you know? Lenny. You know, that sort of stuff. So there we go. <laughs> it's wonderful. Buckinghamshire. Evening, Scotty. Scott Beatty says, too much political correctness these days. What about freedom of speech, Scotty? Well, we'll come as close to it as we possibly can, Scott. That's all I can tell you. Um, Scotty. Uh, are we phoning in tonight? Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. We certainly are. So there we are. Wait a minute now. Here he is. 
Let's see if we can get it now. Hang on there, Harry. Hang on, hang on, hang on. And uh, we'll see if we can get you on. See if he's held on. Excellent stuff. And uh, we'll see if we can get a bit of chat going. That's that's ideal. Uh, you definitely belong in still game. So there we are. Uh, yes. Hello. Uh, yes, hello, Harry. Good evening, Scotty. How are you today? Very good. Excellent. You've got a very poor microphone, Harry. A poor microphone. Well, like I said last night, Scotty, I'm not exactly the technological wizard. I am delighted to be on the Tell Ten to Tell Ten to Tell Ten Scotty McFoo show. Yeah, but there must be a way to turn that up. I, I'm certainly trying my best, Scotty. Now, I've got someone who wants to say hello to you. This is Sean Doyle from Adam. How are you going, Scotty? Dinky doo, brother. Dinky doo, Sean from Annan. How are you getting on, son? Now, Scotty, I work at Road Chef Motorway Services on the M74. Yes. So if, you're, if you're ever passing on the way south, I'd like you to come in and I will give you my discount. We oui, thank you. And you're a lovely fellow. And dinky doo. It's on the M74 North and Southbound. I think I know it very well. Now, the thing to do is find out if we can get your microphone turned up, Harry. I'm certainly trying my best, Scotty. Yes. Uh, how's this now, Scotty? Is that better? That's a bit. What do you think, folks? Can you hear Harry? Let us know if you can hear him. I'm... I'm certainly trying my best, but we need to have talks with ITV, the BBC, get you back on the television to tell ten, to tell ten, to tell ten. They are, they are scintillating entertainment. S scintillating entertainment, dinky do. Yes, dinky do to you as well. And I think ban a few people from your broadcast, Scotty. Oh, we had to ban a few people last night. It was shocking. I know. T tonight they seem to be quite frisky, quite cheeky tonight, Scotty. There's some very, very cheeky people about there, I tell you that for nothing, Harry. The cheeky thing is, Scotty, and remember, if you're ever on the M74, either northbound or southbound, do pop in to Avondale Water Services McDonald's. But wonderful. I'll and give you a discount. Dinky do. Yes, Scotty. It's always delightful to appear on your television show. It's lovely to have you on. You now on... Yes, I'm watching you now on the laptop. Good, good. We like that. We like the laptop. <laughs> We, we do. So there we go. Right, guys, that's a trial call now. Could you hear them at all? Do tell. Uh, right, you. I'm not watching you anymore, Scotty. You've been rude. When have I ever been rude? Sinead Bernadette Hennigan. All right, Scotty. Where are you from, Sinead Bernadette Hennigan? What a fabulous name. Let, do tell, do tell. Spill, spill. Good evening, Scotty, says Danny Leslie. You and Mac, hi from Dumfries. I'm trying to messenger you now, but you're not answering, says Harry. Yes, we are. We've just spoken to you. Is that your real voice, says Paul D. Kelly? Who are you talking to, Harry or me? So there we go. Excellent stuff. I can hear him, says Eddie Doby Sr. I trust you, Eddie Doby Sr. You always tell me the truth. Karen Mercury, Mike McCabe, hi, Scotty. Me and Mrs. Emma in Catalonia were telling the locals about you. Can you give my Mrs. Trudy McCabe a shout-out, please, says Mike McCabe. I can do, dinky-doo. If you've just joined us, folks, they're in Catalonia. How amazing is that? No, we can't hear him, says Elaine Costello. Uh, so there we go. That can't be your real voice. Uh, who? Harry's obsessed with the M74 services. Pat Murray. Hi, Scotty from Barhead. So there we are. There's Danny. Hello, Danny. Dinky doo. Lovely to have you on. And a very warm welcome to the Scotty McClure Show. This is the big one. Anybody else want to call, guys? Feel free to do so. Excellent stuff. And uh, another little bit of sharing will never do you any harm. Can uh, In fact, can we have a share now? We're long past our share time. Share, 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 share. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Darren Wood says a shout out, please, Scotty. My mum loves you, Scotty, says Paul D. Kelly. Your mum sounds a very, very clever switched on lady, Paul D. Kelly. Do give her my fondest regards. Go and give her a big hug. Heidi Hall from Irvine 
Scotty, says Brian Hillis. We like Irvin. Do you know Burtry Hill? So there you go. Can I call, please, says Danny. Yes, of course you can, Danny. Uh, you're on Messenger. So there we are. Hello, Scotty. Can I give Chels, Lucy, Jack, Leslie, and John shout-outs, says Michael Butley. Of course we can. Peter Dale Nevins is watching. Dinky-doo. Tell Ted, tell Ted, tell Ted about Scotty McClure. Live on the big one. I don't have sharing options, Scotty, says Margaret MacDonald. Well, Margaret, they'll maybe come and go. I've noticed that with things. I'm not sure if some people put that on. I haven't. Get some advertising in the background. Yes, wonderful. Sharice Allison, did you do? Say hello to my wife, Claire Watson, please. Um, uh, she's lying sleeping beside me. So there you are. Excellent. That's Madge. Sharice Allison, oi, oi. Sharice is here. Good, good. People will love that, Sharice. What's the Hamden, Scotty, says Alan Kemno. Well, is it the Hamden or is it the Murrayfield? So are we going to start saying, what's the Murrayfield then? Uh, so there you are. I, I see, Scotty, not just me cannot share. No, no, no. I think a lot of people uh, can't share Scotty McClure because it's so popular. They don't want it taking over the whole internet. Do you know what I'm saying to you? So it probably gets, um, you know, kept, kept in its place. Say hi to Margaret and my wife. I love her to bits, says Smart Arnett. Can I ring, says Michael Putley? Of course you can. If you're on Messenger, just ring. Not a problem. So there we go. In fact, we've got it up here. You'll just, just remember, though, uh, when you come on, right, to uh, give us time to answer. It'll take a wee while to answer. All right, so there you go. But of course you can ring. I'm just going to tell people that we're live now. Live now. Okay, right. There you go. Excellent. Okay. Hi, Ken, Ken, says so Sharice. Thomas Hamilton's watching, dinky do. Uh, if you've just joined us, welcome, welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster, the first lord of the internet. A particular welcome to Canada and the United States of America and to India and Africa. Reminds me of the old world service here. Live now, share. Uh, it won't let me share. Good evening, pal, says Thomas Hamilton. It's me birthday today, says Peter Ewing. What age are you, Peter Ewing? So there we are. Do tell. So there we go. We can't sing happy birthday because it's um, very heavily copyrighted, but we'll manage something. So there you are. I will sing you a silent song. What about that? Peter Ewing for his birthday. How about that? There we are. Happy birthday, Peter Ewing. Says everybody, 49 years. So there we are. Does Theresa May's dance moves resemble a stick insect with arthritis, says Mike McCabe. Oh, that's a little bit harsh, Mike McCabe. You know, I mean, there's a whole, a whole set of reasons why people can't dance. So there you go. Uh, we're from Lawthorn and Irvine in Ayrshire, so smart, fantastic. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Now, if you're watching globally, do see how far away. We have people in Peru, in uh, Colombia, in uh, Australia, in New Zealand, and uh, would like to, of course, make sure that uh, we grow the show in the United States as well. Mike McCabe, says Margaret McDonald, it won't let us ring you, says Michael Putley. Yes, well, Harry's just been on, so of course you can. Hope you've had a good day, pal. Are you on Messenger with Scotty McClue? I don't have Messenger on this device, but I've got it on another device. So there you are. Excellent stuff. There's lots of people sharing. I can see who's sharing, guys. So make sure that you get sharing. Excellent stuff. Stuff. Uh, now, what have I got here? There we are. Yay. Excellent. Right. We'll just take that out. And uh, all programs. Good. Wonderful. All programs. What I'm doing, guys, I'm just taking out a wee program here. There we are. Excellent. 
Yes. Good. Right, that's gone. Uh, me too. I've been keen to waiting for a knee replacement, says Margaret MacDonald. Uh, so that's that. It's old age, says Sharice. Wonderful. Oh, Sharice, you're not that old, for goodness sake. Don't be too hard on yourself, I say. If you've just joined us, folks, uh, maybe it's you sharing, Scotty. Favourite holiday destination, Scotty, says Callum McSwan. Oh, my goodness me. I love Argyle. I love the Murray Coast. Uh, I love Ireland. Right down the very, very bottom, stunning beaches. Um, so there you are. Um, can you do a comp to win one of those fine whodunits, says Alan Kimlo. I'm sure you can. Bet you can still ba dance better than Theresa May, Charisse. Oh, don't be too hard on Theresa. She was doing her best. That's all you can ask of somebody. So there you are. Uh, now, uh, Kirkadi says Sharice, uh, Kirkadi, Kirkadi, the Langton, Kirkadi, there we are. I wonder if it was the um, Church of Aldi. So there we go. Do tell Kirkadi, where does the name originate from? Come on, Sharice, go and get your, re your research hat on and let us know the origin of Kirkadi. Right, we'll see what's happening here. Now, got a lot of you there, so another share won't do any harm. Excellent stuff. There we go. And uh, I hope you're all doing the same. Share, share, share. But type up, take the page as well, guys. Right-click on my page and put it round. Michael Butler says, can you ring me? It won't let me. I don't think I can because I don't have your address on here, Michael. So maybe you have to be a friend. Are you a friend? Um, or something like that before you can ring. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, we need to look into this, but we know that we can take a call. I need something a bit clearer than Harry was. He's got a problem with his microphone, so we couldn't hear him terribly clearly. So if anybody can get through to Scotty McClue, do feel free to do so. And <clears throat> we will take your calls. Uh, tip my tongue. Ingolstead says, uh, Ingolstead. You sure you don't mean Ingolston? Where the Royal Highland Show is, Sharice. So there we are. Might be something to do with that. Tip of your tongue. Gulam Iqbal says, hi. Gulam, where are you watching from? Hi to you, my dear one. Lovely to have you with us. Um, so there we are. Uh, it's me, says, I, th I think, something me, Gulam, saying. Patrick Barra Collins, purse, purse. Is this what you're doing with your lips? Or is it something that holds your money? Do tell, I say. Call me, says Gulam. I can't call you, Gulam. You have to call me. So they are Scotty McClue, S-C-O-T-T-I-E, M-C-C-L-U-E, on Messenger. Uh, Rab, I have lovely eyes, Scotty. I'm sure you do, Rab. I'm sure you're a very fine fellow indeed. So there we go. But um, do feel free to give us a call, folks. There you go. Excellent stuff. Thomas is coming up here. I don't know why Thomas is coming up here. There we go. We'll have to sort that out. Wonderful. So there you go. If you've just joined us, folks, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClure. We're live on the big one, Facebook Live. And we are global, of course. Uh, can you add me, says Michael Putley. I don't know if I can. Michael, let me see. I'll have to search you out, won't I? There we are. Michael. So maybe you're not Michael. Maybe you're Michael. Is that right? A-E-L and P-U-T-L-E-Y. Right? So there we go. And we'll pop that in and see what comes up. Fantastic stuff. Tam the Coleman. So, Sherry, stand the coming. Uh, right, I've got you here, Michael. Uh, I've got several Michael Butler, so I don't know which one you are. Uh, have you got anything to do with scooters? So there you go. Tam the Coleman, why are you introducing us to Tam the Coleman, Jerry's? What's going on in that wonderful brain of yours? Do tell. So there we are. Is Tam the Coleman a friend? 
Uh, is it something I mean? We're not psychic. You see, David Clark. So why have you got lots of serious faces on David Clark? What's the big problem? Come on, face up, step up to the plate. Tell me what the problem is. You're watching Scotty McClue, folks, and we're live on Facebook Live. Here is Sharice to tell us something. What are you telling us, Sharice? Come on now, fess up. So there we go, she's gone quiet. Right, guys, um, if you want to call us, do you believe in ghosts, Scotty? Yes, Neil O'Gormley, I have experienced a ghost, so I have to believe in ghosts. Is Scotty in the picture, says Karen Mercury? It is indeed. You said Tam was on the phone, Scotty. Right, Sherry, so how do we know Tam the Coleman? How's the dog, pal, says Thomas Hamilton. The dog is beautiful in his 12th year, and he's had his wee stroke about um, eight years ago, I think it was. Someone said, look at the bags under Mrs. May's eyes. Of course, uh, Patrick, don't be too harsh in Mrs. May. She copes with a lot of serious health issues. So I think we need to stop the slagging. All right, that's not what this program's about, right? You might not respect that particular office or you might not respect her politics, but I don't think we need to be at the personal attacks. Okay, so there you are. You left me hanging last night, says David Clark. Certainly did not, David Clark. Certainly did not. Come on, phone us up now then, and let's see if we can have you. Michael, Michael, I don't know which one you are here. There's so many different ones. So there you are. That's what happens. Uh, what have we got? Sorry, Scotty. Sorry, says Patrick. No, no, I think so. I just, that we don't need to be doing that. You know what I mean? Whether you agree with somebody's politics or not, um, I would certainly not go attacking another human being. They're, they're doing their best, and that's what they believe in. And if somebody's got a different belief to us, that makes the world a lot more interesting. So there, you're on a lot these days. I'm not on nearly enough, Paul McCulley, apparently, according to my fans. So there you go. I don't think you can ever have too much Scotty McClure. And of course, there's so many top-level meetings going on around the country about the next move for Scotty McClure, who is the next big thing in broadcasting. If you can imagine this on a television station for half an hour on a Friday evening, say 11 to 11.30 Friday evenings, the Scotty McClure show. How about that? How amazing would that be? Scotty's never off. Uh, yes, Scotty, we want more, says Paul McCurry. He's on it, says Sharice. We are on it. We're on it big time. Oh, Charles, can't you spell? Uh, I was asking you to do me a collar all night. You left me hanging, waiting. You even done a song. No, I didn't done a song, David. I did a song. There you are. But not the call. I would have called you, but I don't have it. Well, you don't need to have Skype tonight. You just go on Messenger and call Scotty McClure. So there we are. If somebody wants to call me on Messenger, that's absolutely fine. Hello, Scotty, says Callum Murray. Hello, Callum Murray, dinky-doo, and a very warm welcome to the Thursday evening late-night pop-up. Uh, so there we go. Alan Kemlo, uh, how many followers do you have, says John Podmore? Millions. Absolutely millions. Uh, I don't know how many we've got on Facebook now, but it runs into thousands. Then we're on LinkedIn. We are on um, YouTube. We're on Twitter. So you should all follow me on Twitter as well. Spellcheck 19 over. Good evening, sir, says Alistair McClellan. Hello, Alistair. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky do. I know the 8,000 of you joined me last night, guys. So thanks for that. Very much appreciated. You'll see if you scroll down, you'll see the little figure there. You should be on every night, pal, says Thomas Hamilton. Thank you, Thomas. It's very strange when somebody goes, ah, you're on a lot these days. You know, I mean, for goodness sake, a tiny wee pop-up on Facebook. So there we go. Uh, a big turn up at his funeral, says Alan Kemlo. So there we are. A big turn up. So there we are. Did you hear about the dead farmer? There was a big turn up at his funeral. Excellent stuff, Alan. There we go. We like these little japes. Uh, birthday today, says Peter Ewing. Yes, you told us that, Peter. Have you had a refreshment? Uh, Alan, you're banned, says Sharice. No, not at all, Sharice. We don't ban him for that. We banned a guy last night because he said I should hang up the bonnet. 
silly old fool you want to have seen the state of him so there you go so that was that and uh, alan's having a good old laugh quite right alan dinky do i say to all of you from scotty McClue. one more share come on now let's get sharing big star we've only got about 15 minutes of the program left and um, we want to talk to as many of you as possible. Now, I'd like to take a call. So if anybody's got Facebook Messenger, look up Scotty McClure and call so we can try it. We'll not embarrass you or uh, slag you off or anything like that. I just want to test out the system. So there you go. So if you can give us a call, that would smash it. Thomas Hamilton. You could do it. You could get onto your messenger there and phone Scotty McClue. Hello, Scotty, I had 20 minutes waiting and it's starting up, right? And you have you got the red and yellow cards. Well, we've got a yellow card. If anyone acts up tonight, then we just give them the yellow card, I say. Rab, you over the hill yet, Sir Sharice? What are you doing, Sharice? You're having a wee chit-chat here. Remember, the rest of us are here. Dinky-doo. I have messenger, but no mic. Says Eddie Doby Senior. Well, that's a lot of good, Eddie, isn't it? Come on, for goodness sake. Have you not got a built-in mic on your device? If it's your phone, it'll have a mic on it. I uh, think you just uh, ring up. Eddie needs help, says so she's. Everybody needs help, Sharice, if we're absolutely honest about it. We all depend on each other. Not got a red card for tonight, says David Clark. No, you haven't, David. You're absolutely fine. No problem at all. Right, uh, who else is phoning in? Let me see what's going on here. My goodness me. Right, I'm just going to switch to that. Uh, PC, says Eddie, you'll be seeing you. Are you, Eddie? I didn't realise... I thought you were a taxi driver. I didn't realize you were a police constable. That's fantastic. Um, oh, so, oh, sorry, you've got a, a personal computer. Sorry about that. I see where you're coming from now. Excellent stuff. Yes, uh, no, you might not have a wee mic with that. And I think they're about eight quid uh, if you were buying one. So don't be going splashing out on my account. There we are on any of my accounts. Uh, Eddie's 19 canteen style. So Sharice, now come on, Sharice. This is from a lady who can he share. So what's going on there? I ask you. I ask you big stuff. <laughs> Wonderful. What a super pop-up tonight has been. Right, can we have another share, please? Come on, share, 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 share. Share, 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 share. Tell 10 to tell 10. The Scotty McClue is live. Very important. It went a bit bananas last night. It was very, very interesting. Uh, and as I say, about 8,500 of you came and joined me, which I thought was rather fantastic. Okay, boss, help me. American women love and enjoy... Uh, and married you. Help me, my passport number. Help me. No, you can't put your passport number up here. Mod del War Hossein. You mustn't do that. Don't give out your personal information on the internet. So there we are. I've lifted that out for you. But you do need to be careful, for goodness sake. Uh, not my fault, Scotty. Eh? Uh, dial up internet. Yes, that's what's going on there. Uh, how's no one funny? Well, they need to get their act together. Think they're frightened. I might slag them off or something. It's just to test out the messenger. So if you've got messenger, then uh, do give us a call on it. Is that your dad in the wall behind you? No, that's me, Chris. That's, uh, that's old Scotty. So there you go, and there's me again. Oh, you can't really see that. I'll just show you that one as well. Um, my dad, where is my dad? My dad's about somewhere. That's my dad, I'll just show you. That's my dad there. Yeah, that's, that's Big Archie. Excellent stuff, that's him. So there you go, fantastic, so now you know. You see, you're in the know, I say. Yes, Sherry, everybody says. 360 here. There, she's gone into her CB talk. She's giving it all that. If you've just joined us, folks, wherever you're watching throughout the globe, you're watching Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet and the world's top broadcaster. Nice pictures, is Karen. It is a nice one, Karen. Yes, thank you. Hello, Scotty, says Wendy Walker. Dinky do, Wendy. Lovely to have you with us. Can I have some thumbs up, please? Some smileys 
and a few hearts. So can everybody get tap, 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 tap. Uh, Peter Ewing's watching in Paisley. Excellent, Peter. Lovely to have you with us. I'm just going to share again on that one. Let everybody know that we are live now. Here's somebody coming on. It's Rab. So we'll see if we can hear him. Hello, Rab. Let it just uh, let it just answer. That's what's important. We'll see if he comes on. Hang on now, Rab. Remember, this takes a little bit of time. Yes. Hello, Rab. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Not very well. Are you talking into your microphone? Eh? Hey? Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, but you're quite faint. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hello. Hello. Hello, Rab. Hello. No, can he hear you, son? So there you go. How's everybody got something wrong with their equipment, for goodness sake? I don't know. It was good of Rab to ring, though. Good to give it a go. Excellent. Echo, echo, over, modulating. Echo, echo, over, modulating. Echo, echo. Yep, yeah, absolutely. Over, modulating. Sure is. The better texting, says Trevor. No, no, if we can get the calls going, we'll get them going. I think Rab's been kidnapped, says Callum Murray. I don't know what the ransom is, Callum. So if anybody's got uh, Messenger and you want to give us a ring, do feel free to do so. Excellent stuff. Right, that was our Rab there. Uh, a good attempt, I say. You just haven't got any uh, microphone at the other end. Buckled, I'm going to D on this. Uh, <laughs> Scotty, it's not my birthday, but it is tomorrow. Say happy birthday to me. And dinky do for the main man, says Alan McGee. A very, very happy birthday for tomorrow, Friday. Friday the 31st of August, is that correct? Besides our sales, says Sharice. I know the feeling, Hen, I know the feeling. Yes, Ken, 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 Ken. Callum Murray, dinky do. Uh, what regiment was your dad in, says Alistair McClellan? He was a Queen's own Cameron Highlander. So there you are, Queen's own Cameron Highlander, and he served in just about every theatre of war. So there we are, he was 18 when he got called up and did the six years, the full six years. And uh, Queen's own Cameron Highlander was in India doing guard duty under Lord Mountbatten. Then he was out in uh, Japan at the time of Hiroshima. Then he was parachuted into Norway, he was a parachutist and a radio operator. So that's maybe why his son took up the radio. But uh, the Camerons, absolutely. Um, happy birthday, Alan, says Sharice. Very good of you, Sharice, and dinky-doo. If you've just joined us, folks, you're watching Scotty McClure. We're live on the big one, the one everyone's talking about, the one everyone's watching. Karen Mercury, fabulous. I salute him. I thank you. You would have loved him, Karen. He was a lovely, lovely man. I tried to. I apologize. Do you want me to phone you to try it out, pal, says Thomas Hamilton? Of course, Thomas. No problem at all. What kind of cheese do you use to hide a horse? Mascarpone. I said to a horse one day, why the long face? Uh, hello, Sharice, do you like shopping? I like spending Derek's money. Uh, Rab, were you going over the hill there? Uh, both Scottish sides got through to the group stages of the Europa League, and yet nobody can get through to Scotty McLuhan Messenger. Uh, good evening, old pals, says Alan McGee. Good evening, Alan. Oh, my gosh, you taught my daughter at school. I couldn't believe it when you told me. I spoke to you years ago on the radio, says we, Kelly Aiken. Kelly, lovely to have you with us. And dinky do. And uh, I'll tell you, if I taught your daughter, she would be a fabulous pupil. So there you go. Derek, are you skint new? Says Shris. What is going on here? I ask you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you've just joined us, you're watching Scotty McClue. This is the Scotty McClue program. The big one. The finest and greatest show on the internet. You will never ever see a piece of quality television like this that's not peppered by commercials. So there. What kind of cheese don't you own? 
nacho cheese. So there we are. It's Trevor, you know, please forgive me, but I am struggling with that one. You know, that's that's an interesting one. Happy birthday, by the way, says we Kelly Aitken. Happy birthday to everybody. Happy birthday, says Karen Mercury. Excellent stuff. So there we go. Uh, she got an A in drama for our hires last year. I am so proud of her. Please pass on my regards. That is tremendous. Um, has Cherries been over it and back? Uh, oh, Cherries. Sharice, I think. So there we are. Wendy Walker. He's doing well in his bed. So there you are. Quite right. Away to Bobo's. Um, Big Moose of Stain, Scotty. Absolutely, Jerry McGurk. Happy birthday, says Scott Hillis. Very kind of you all to wish everybody a good birthday. Now, can you see what I'm attempting to do here, guys? I'm wanting to build and build a massive talk show that brings the world together on Facebook Live. That's what we're into here. So, Sharice, Scott has been a teacher in his time. Scott has done many things in his time, Sharice, I say. A guy walked up to uh, into a bar. A guy walked into a bar and said, Ah! It was an iron bar. Love it, Scotty. Brilliant, says we, Kelly. Absolutely, Kelly. No problem at all. I think that's fabulous, and thanks for letting me know. Um, so what do we got here? Thanks you for my birthday wishes. I mean, a great day. 49 years ago, I was a very special birthday present to the man I called Dad. Happy birthday, and Dad R.I.P. What kind of cheese do you remember a bear out a cave with? So there we are. What kind of cheese do you tempt a bear out of a cave with? Camembert. Camembert. <laughs> Scotty, uh, you've been about, uh, you're hiding some tasks, Elsa. Oh, no, no, not at all, Sharice. I love River City, says Wendy Walker. Neela Gormley, how do you know there's been an elephant in your bed? He's got a big E on his pyjamas. Excellent stuff. I remember I was having a dream that there was a horse in bed beside me. And I woke up in the morning and the horse had gone. It must have been a nightmare. So there are starfish, said David Clark, and to you. Uh, what do you get hanging on trees, says Ricky Reed. Sear arms. Ah, oh, wonderful stuff, dinky do I say. Now then, just to let you know, you'll be hearing an awful lot more of Scotty McClue, all right, because uh, a lot of top-level meetings going on around the country, so uh, I'm just tipping you the wink. Mum's the word, of course. My lips are sealed, as always, so uh, I can't tell you too much. Right, can everybody have a share, please? I'm just looking at the time here. Margaret McDonald, dinky do, lovely to have you with us. Anybody fancy um, giving us a call? Start the ball rolling, we're on Messenger. So we're going to try that. If you've got Messenger on your Facebook, put in Scotty McClue and click ring. Uh, every Tuesday, get on the telly, do this, be the biggest show about, says Rab. Rab is definitely going to be the biggest show about anyway, because uh, when I popped up last night, Eight and a half thousand of you popped up with me. You can check it. You'll see the wee figure at the bottom of the video. Well, Peter, that was meant for you. No, Alan, this show's guffing me here. So there you are. Uh, Sharice, what are you doing conducting a, a sub show there? A wee pantomime. Scotty, who's your second favorite talk show host? Apart from myself. Oh, my goodness. I'm trying to think. There's really only about half a dozen of us in the country. It makes me laugh, these poor radio stations that are trying to start up and people are going, oh, I could, I could talk on the radio, and they're putting them on, and their audiences are, ooh, just like that, you know. It's, it's crazy. I mean, I had more people last night uh, in my Facebook video than these radio stations have gotten a week. You know, it's uh, it's incredible. Scotty, are you going to be Big Lenny's new hitman in River City? I think I could be the godfather. I could just come out of the shadows and go like this. Lenny. A word. 
Oh, scaring myself, scaring myself. Uh, tent a bear, tent a bear out of a cave with a mermaid. No, camembert. Camembert, the cheese. Yes, camembert. I think they used to fry camembert. Uh, you know, that was the thing. Deep fry it, very, very nice. Thanks, says Peter Ying. Not at all, Peter. Everybody loves you on here. And we're all saying happy birthday and dinky-doo. And we're giving you a big round of silent applause. The cod father, says Eddie Doby Sr. Absolutely. I might have to change the bonnet for a hat. So there we go. Excellent. See, we've got a gangster hat on. Uh, Dolores Jones has just joined us. Hello, Dolores. Lovely to have you with us. Dinky Doo, where are you from? Is the phone or video cam? No, we're not on video cam, Thomas. So there you are. And it's on another device. So panic ye not. Karen Mercury, clap. Fantastic. There we are. We don't, uh, we don't want to give you the clap. So we'll keep it nice and quiet. Uh, brilliant, Scotty. Scotty the hitman with his Burberry bonnet. Yes, I think if I had a sort of a sort of more of a gangster hat than just the bonnet. Mind you, I don't know. Because an old Scottish uh, yes, an old Scottish uh, godfather. Like that, Luke. Oh so there we go. We'll see. I don't know, frightening myself there. Uh, yes, yes, River City, says Wendy Walker. Excellent. Well, we need to talk to the producers, Wendy. You can't. I can't just walk in and go, hello, everybody on Facebook suggested I come along and start acting. You know, you've got to talk to the producers. Liz Lyons watching. Dinky you do, my darling. Lovely to have you with us. And uh, STV's here, says Sharice. Excellent. Hey, from Campbelltown, says Beth Martin. Beth Martin, how lovely to have you on from Campbelltown. What have we got? Ben Gullion. There we are, Ben Gullion. That's not a local worthy, by the way, folks. There's Sean Adelan Osborne. A face for radio, he says he's got. Sean, I'm sure you're being harsh on yourself there. I would have you on the radio, but I'm sure we could have you on the television as well. Sean says he's going to face for radio. Ben Gullion, am I right in Campbelltown there? Fantastic. And South End, wonderful stuff. A judge at the talent show said, I hate people that do bud impressions. So I flew out the window. <laughs> Thank you, says Beth Martin. Not at all. We love Campbelltown, a great part of the world, and Carradale, of course, and Tarbert. Yes, so there you are. My father was from Tarbert. Uh, hi from down the road, Scotty. Dinky-doo. Excellent stuff. And uh, yep, says Beth. Yes, absolutely. Ben Gullion. And on the other side, we've got... Um, oh my goodness, uh, it's just slipped my mind, it's just slipped my mind because I'm broadcasting, otherwise I would have known. So the other side of the valley from Bengalian, uh, excellent, I think. You'd look lovely in one of them Panama hats. Uh, you're all family thinks, thinks open, says Maud Dalwer Hussein. Maud Dalwer Hussein, lovely to have you with us. And dinky do, I say, welcome, welcome, welcome to the program. But uh, don't put your personal information on. That's all I was uh, telling you. Um, give us a call if you can, folks, if you've got Messenger on. Look at the lots of the big faces there. Fantastic. Modal Weir Hussein, we love you very much. You are a fine fellow. But um, what we can't do is put on your personal information so... I'll have to just take that out for you. There you are. Uh, one of the Panama hats, excellent. The Mullofkin tires, says Trevin Entwistle. So yes, you're quite right. And um, <clears throat> what else have we got down there? Wonderful. We've got Makrahanish. Well, yes, there we go on South End. My old friend, um, Angus McVicker, used to live in South End, a wonderful author. Uh, can you tell people Derek's not well, says Wendy Walker. What is it, Wendy? I hope it's nothing serious. There's just a bit of trapped wind. If you can just give him a wee pat on the back. If it's hiccups, go and get the gas bill and show him that. That'll give him a fright, and that'll cure the hiccups. But I do hope he's all right. So uh, I've told the nation, I've told the whole globe, 
that Derek's not well. There we are. Uh, Columbus's footsteps, says Trevor Entwistle. Yes, Argyle's a wonderful place. Scotty, where's your favourite place to visit in Scotland? The Mull of Kintyre. There we are, the Mull of Kintyre Lighthouse. I have sat out on a bench in a late summer's evening about this time of year, and I have watched all I could see was the Mull of Kintyre Lighthouse flashing. And the moon. It was beautiful. Uh, I'll phone you in two minutes, pal, says Thomas Hamilton. No, Derek, you get better soon, says Sharice. Very caring woman, Sharice. We love this. Have you ever been to Kirkcaldy, says Calamari? Yes, but when I went to Kirkcaldy, I used to have to hold my nose. So there you are. But a dear old friend of mine always goes to the ice rink at Kirkcaldy. And I used to go through, oh, I've spent many a happy Saturday night in Kirkcaldy. So they are, I won't name the uh, the hostelry that we're in, but it was funny. So they were very, very funny. Test transmissions um, are going out, says Paul Ross, uh, on, what's that one, 96.3 FM. Oh, very nice. My old radio station, wonderful. Uh, Scotty, why do we tell our kids not to lie, but you lie to them all their life? David Clark, in what way do you lie to your children? You should never give the children duff, Jen. So there you are. Just tell them, oh, here we are. Here's Thomas. Let's see how we get on with this. Now, Thomas, I hope you give it a second to get through because you are our test for tonight. Gordon Roddick's watching. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us, Gordon. You bring a great deal of confidence to the program. Excellent. Right. Thomas, can you hear me? Hello, Scotty. Hello, Thomas. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. Loud and clear. Now, the only thing is we're a wee bit short on volume. Can you do something about that? A wee bit more. That's a fast go. <laughs> That's fast go. That's very good, guys. Can we hear Thomas? Thomas, talk to us. How are you tonight? I'm not too bad. How was your day? My day has been fabulous, my dear fellow. Absolutely fabulous. We did a nice pop up tonight. We had a lovely yeah. pop up last night. Eight and a half thousand of you joined me. You should be on every night. On every night for the chit chat. You should do it every night, mate. <laughs> Wendy Walker's got tongue ulcers and says her husband can't eat properly. That sounds a sere thing, that poor soul. Well, that's, that's, that's serious. That's serious, isn't it? Yes. Right, Santa, the Tooth Fairy, Easter Bunny, says Eddie Doby Sr. He's saying we lie to our children. Yes, we can hear Thomas, says Margaret MacDonald. Chat away, Thomas. Hello. 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 They love you. Now, oh, that's good. <laughs> guys, this shows us, if we can hear Thomas, I feel like Marconi or Macaroni. If we can hear Thomas, that means we can take calls on the program. There you go. Eh? What about that? Okay, pal. Okay, buddy. Thank you so oh, much yeah. for ringing yeah. in. No problem, Scotty. Hey, uh, and dinky do. Dinky-doo, mate. Dinky-doo, Thomas. Wonderful. Right, there you are. Thomas has just rung us. Now, obviously, we need to get the microphones up, get everybody sorted. But I think that's fabulous. So there we are. And we lie a lot to our children, says Claire Rolls. Why? Why not just tell the children the truth, I say? Edison, says Trevor Entwistle. Yes, Edison. Or Marconi. Marconi. Wonderful. Discovering the radio waves. Um, his friend went up to a little hillock and he had a white hanky and Marconi said, if you can hear this, drop your hanky. So he did and the hanky came down. How fantastic is that? Do you watch Still Game? How come you've not had a cameo appearance, says Paul Ross? I don't know. I find that very, very strange. I would have thought Scotty McClure would have complimented um, still game, but maybe I'm the first thing from their minds. These people are very, very busy, and they're big stars, you know. Uh, Ennio Marconi, no Guglielmo Marconi, Emio Guglielmo. Yes, well, maybe Emio to you for short. Scotty for a still game cameo. There's Callum Murray. I think, I think I'd be fine in the Clansmen, in having ordering a, a refreshment from Bobby, and then saying. 
Hey, what can I get you, Scotty? I'll have a pint of your finest, Bobby, sir. And for my friends on my left and my right, nothing! <laughs> Scotty and Jane the Fat. Uh, or the Easter Bunny, said David Clark. No, I don't think I'd make a very good Easter Bunny. Down with Scotty McVickers watching from Canada. Dinky doo, we send our fondest regards to you. A fine fellow and of great stock. So there we are. Bob, says Sharice. What? What is Bob, Sharice? That's a shilling. That used to be a shilling. 5p. People can't believe, you know, uh, about house prices in the old days and having a shilling. So there we are. <laughs> Jack and Victor. Paul McCulley. What a man. <coughs> so there we are. Sharice, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. That was good of uh, Thomas to phone in there just to test out the chit chat. So if any of you have got messenger guys, do feel free to give us a call and we can have a wee blather. Um, we're just building all this up. This show, as you know, is work in progress. Uh, Scotty, you a very good reverend. I am jolly. Absolutely. I think I've even got, I've got the water. This is the water. Hello. What kind of day have you had? I've had a heck of a day. But I feel... Oh, sorry, there you are. Thought you I'm up at stupid o'clock. I'm Muhammad Damar Hussein. I love American, beautiful, one woman love and enjoy uh, being married. Help me, uh, please, in my school and torture visa. Help me thinks. So there we are. Yes, absolutely. But you can't put your number up there. So there we are, Muhammad. Don't put your number up on it. Oh, that would be hilarious says Beth Martin. So there you are. Yes, the Reverend Diane Jolly. Hello. Good evening. I said to my wife, <laughs> oh, that is good water. I have to say. Excellent stuff. Right, Scotty McClue, Dinky Doo. Whatever happened to Vosine? Shampoo, says Rab. That's right, Vosine. We use it slightly medicated, if I remember. It's very, very good. So there we are with all these wonderful uh, products. And remember Katie Boyle used to advertise the soap. That's a... <laughs> <laughs> That's some great adverts for the soap opera. Pat it doon, Scotty. There, uh, look at you know, Pat it doon. That's me. It was good to talk to you, pal. This is Thomas Hamilton. Lovely to talk to you, Thomas. And thank you for making that call because you've demonstrated that we're just a wee hair's breadth away from taking all the calls. I hope I don't fall in quicksand, says Alan McGee. I hope you don't, Alan McGee, because it's very dangerous for the people trying to pull you out. I've got that, Rab. I remember my Labrador when he was a pup, and it was a river that was in spate. And my girlfriend said to me, look, and I saw this wee black head bobbing away down the river at speed. And I thought, OMG, I've lost the dog because I couldn't go in after him. The river was in spate, and I was in a dreadful state worrying about it. This is 100% true. It was a Sunday morning, and I just saw the wee head, and then I saw him get out. He scrambled out of the river at a wee bit of banking, and I thought, oh, thank you, God. What do you think happened next? He put himself back in. <laughs> and he's still there. He's lying in the city here. Uh, coming up for 12 years old. Started sinking in the sand. That's okay. Yes, the sands of time are sinking. 
The sands of time. Oh, no, it's, 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 it's too depressing, too depressing. Well, the Colesbys mentals, the Warren Scott FMDs, they were hilarious to listen to, says Paul McCulley. Of course, if I get another human being on the other end of the telephone, then I think between the two of us, we can give you a good listen. So there we are. That's what Scotty McClude does, you know. So there we are. But I'll tell you more about it as and when I can. So there we are. It's Zip it, mum's the word. Uh, do you believe in the Illuminati, says Triangle Jack. Now, Triangle Jack, if the Illuminati existed, do you not think Scotty McClue would be one of them? So come on, let's have it straight. A few world leaders and a world-class broadcaster. Yes, so I would be in the Illuminati. So there you are. So I'm not in the Illuminati, which leads me to believe it doesn't exist. All right. So there you are. There's your answer. Stuart Buckins watching. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you've just joined us, you're watching Scotty McClue. And we are, of course, live on the big one. So there we are. That's my answer there. I say, I'm up at five tomorrow, says Peter Ewing. Well, off to your bobos, Peter Ewing, right now. Excellent stuff. Right, I think it's time I wasn't here, guys. I'm just looking at the time. I can't believe how quick this hour goes past. Now, should we continue with the pop-ups, or do we take a leaf out of Gordon Stilling's book and have Sunday night at nine o'clock only? I know I'm going for a nice bath. Uh, Scott is the main man behind the Illuminati because he says he's not in it. I think you should come to Campbelltown. It would be a sellout, says Beth. I would love to come to Campbelltown, Beth. I have swithered about living in Campbelltown. It's very, very strange. It's very, very powerful. So there you are. We've got, uh, what have we got? Um, is it Nock? Nock Tibbert? on the other side, and Ben Gullion on one side. What have I got? Help me out here. So there you are. Uh, good night, pal. See you tomorrow, Mrs. Thomas. Good night, Thomas. Thanks again for your call. It was very much appreciated. Beth, do tell me, what's the other side of the valley called? You know, up by, up by the grammar school there, and you've got the two sides. Fantastic. And, of course, what beautiful, beautiful, stunning views you've got there. We'll get down to Campbelltown and get the nonsense going. Campbellton. Hi. <laughs> Wonderful. I landed in Campbellton when I came back from Ireland. I took the um, the ferry from Ballycastle to Campbelltown. And uh, I couldn't believe it, right, with my Argyle connections. I'd been all around Ireland. And the only people that had stopped me were some excise people as we crossed the border wanting to dip the tank because they thought my car was a diesel. When I told them it was a petrol, they said, oh, sorry, oh, no, on your way, sir, do apologize. And they just appeared out of nowhere. Uh, so that was that. And apart from that, the first time I saw a polis was when I came to Campbelltown. And he started asking me, where have you come from and what were you doing there? and all that sort of stuff. It was very interesting. There you are. Good night. Good night, Thomas Hamilton. Dinky-doo, I say. Love it, says Peter Ewing. Off to your bobos. Yes, says Beth Martin. Is that right, Knock? Knock Scalbert? No? It's it's just, I'm just racking my brains here. Knock Scalbert and Ben Gullion. Is that right? It's, it's ages to get to Campbelltown from anywhere. Love it. Uh, love the trip. Great whiskey. Uh, bar at the hotel says Trevor Entwistle. Yes, a lot of very, very, very fine people live in Campbelltown. And uh, Campbelltown used to be massive. There was, was it 11 distilleries, the Campbelltown Creamery, the Campbelltown Shipyard, the Fishing Fleet. I mean, how fantastic is that? So there we are. Right, folks. Um, I think it's time I pushed off. Shall I give you the song? Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Of it as no revoir and a cheery oh. My family in Glasgow. We call they call this heartbeat country. Says Beth. 
<laughs> Knox Galbert and Ben Gallion. Am I right? Uh, Scotty, put your sunglasses on. So there we are. I don't know if I can. Oh no, I'd better not start mucking about at this time of night. You don't know what we'd end up with. I just started watching you, says Andy Hughes. Don't go. No, we've got to go, Andy. We've got to dash because we've been on for uh, a long time. Good night, sir, says Alistair McClellan. Good night, Alistair Dinky Doo. And good night to everybody. Uh, Tara to the world, I say. This is Scotty McClue wishing every one of you a safe and and peaceful good night. Good night all. God bless and dinky-doo.